Hey guys, and welcome to April 4th and my fourth uh, daily video. I am walking to the uh, coffee shop I recently found that's only like a 15, 20 minute walk from my house. And what I did, I thought not only would I shoot today's video, but I would also uh, be real with you about why it is 2.30. And frankly, I am just now starting my work day. Now, what's hilarious about this video is that I've already recorded it once live on YouTube and that video just won't move. So I'm recording it again, which is hilarious since the topic is just not being able to get it together. So here's the deal. Last night, I stayed up too late reading a novel that was great, The Knife of Never Letting Go. I was up past 2.30 a.m. That's the last time I looked at the clock. And then it was just really hard to get out of bed this morning. And then getting out of bed, I just, could not get it together. Usually I get up and I make coffee and I just didn't feel like it. So, <laughs> and you know, there's the, oh my gosh, I can barely move. And then beating yourself up because you should start work. Uh, Cause Jay left earlier than usual today. So I was able to start work earlier than usual today, but I just couldn't focus and I didn't want to do anything. And it was one of those mornings. So I wanted to share this with you today because I shared my planning video last week and I wanted to make it really clear that even though you might plan something out or I might plan something out, things don't always go as planned. And just because I said I was gonna be able to do all of this stuff on the list doesn't mean that I actually can do it. And I know I'm not alone in this because I posted that episode a couple weeks back about what to do when you can't get up in the morning, which was of course inspired by someone's question at an event. And I get such a great response from you guys that you have mornings and days like that too. So I know we're not alone. Um, so I just wanted to tell you what I did. Didn't really help, by the way. Didn't get done everything I needed to get done today. It's about 5 p.m. now. And um, I basically didn't get started on work until 2 or 2.30 because everything was overwhelming. So I didn't do anything. I read a little bit. I posted on Instagram. I looked at Instagram. I journaled, which is important, but here's kind of what I do. The thing is, ask yourself, what would feel really good? Okay, I feel overwhelmed and like I can't possibly do the things that I'm supposed, air quotes, to do. So what would feel really extremely good? And journal a little bit. Ask your intuition, what would feel great? And what would be able to like get me up out of this chair? And then do it. So for me, that was walking outside in the sunshine, always good with all the flowering trees, um, to the coffee shop that I just discovered that's about 20 minutes from my house. Then I got overwhelmed with the idea of having to get a shower. And then I realized I'm gonna go and walk and get sweaty. It's like 70 degrees. So what if I don't get a shower before I go? What if I just get one when I come back? So make it as easy on yourself as possible to do the thing that would feel good to do. For me, that was walking. A, I was getting dressed, then walking in the sunshine, and then I thought if I get to the coffee shop and I just feel awful, I can turn around and walk back home, and I'll at least have left my house and got dressed and been in the sunshine, gotten exercise, all things I know help the kind of mix of, depression's not the right word, blahness plus uh, anxiety plus uh, being overwhelmed, and ask yourself what feels good, go do it, give yourself permission to do it as badly as you need to do it, and if your work doesn't get done that day, it's okay. Because I know from experience, when I push myself to power through and do it anyhow, it never turns out right. It takes forever. I mean, even uploading this video uh, after doing it once already on YouTube Live. Um, don't power through, just take care of yourself. And here's the thing, there are absolutely times when you have absolutely no choice in the matter, especially when other people are relying on you, you need to get it together and power through. If I had a live workshop today, or even a webinar or a Starship chat or a client call, I would have done whatever it took to get in the right place. That probably would have meant getting up a little earlier, going, uh, going for a run, getting a shower, meditating, journaling, all those things I know that get me in like flow or what um, Jess on the Lively Show calls getting into alignment. I would have done the things I needed to do but you don't have to treat yourself like that every day. If you have a day where somebody isn't relying on you to absolutely produce the thing that you thought you were gonna produce today, or you know you could move it back a little bit, or the kids are at school and you're not feeling your productivity, do 
what you need to do to feel good and don't push yourself. Don't push yourself to produce. So that's the thing, if I treat myself like I have a live workshop every day, um, I'm gonna burn out. And there are gonna be days when it's much harder to get it together than it was today. So I hope this helps. By the way, I didn't get done everything I needed to get done, maybe a quarter of it. And uh, I feel a little better because I'm outside and I'm having green tea with soy milk and it's a beautiful day. But hopefully tomorrow, It'll be even easier. So I hope you have a good day and I hope this helps you know when you have a bad day, you're not alone. Please note that I stopped vlogging in order to cross the street safely. Uh, I did wanna say this is one of the joys of doing a video every day, of vlogging every day, is that it's much more latitude to give you like the real, this is what actually happens type stuff. And uh, I didn't think it was right to show you <laughs> how I plan my week on Monday and not show you how some things, things just like fall apart on Tuesday. But everything's fine, I'm fine. I'm gonna have a good snuggle with my puppy and have a good evening and I hope you do as well.